Angelucci, and they pass us for the first time, and it is Judge Angelucci now who's out to take the lead, but Candy's Gold is sticking right with them early. Corey Black trying to nurse that speed with him on the inside. Skywalker is up close early. He's a Sorrows four wide, a Fleet is three wide, and toward the inside, it's good command, a gap of four, and Ferdinand is settled into seventh position, and Gulch is alongside him. Ali Sheba is now running in eighth. He's about nine lengths off the lead as they head for the back stretch. Bold arrangement trying to take hold of this track. Crypto clearance has one horse beaten, and that is Nostalgia Star, who is content to trail at this time as they move off the back stretch. Judge Angelucci and Candy's Gold moving together on the lead. The opening quarter went to 23 flat, 46 and 2 for the half. Those two are still going at it. Good command kept close to them toward the inside. He's a Charles running third, and Ferdinand now has asked for more run. He'll need racing room, though. He's on the inside fifth. Skywalker rolls alongside him, and now Ali Sheba begins the roll from the back of the pack, and the fleet has dropped back. There's a half mile to run in this Breeders' Cup Classic, and it is Candy's goal toward the inside. Judge Angelucci and Ferdinand to pick him up now on the outside third. Good command is putting in his run toward the rail. Skywalker is still in it. He's only three lengths off the lead, and Shiva continues to pick him up on the outside with a dramatic run toward the leaders. They are at the corner pole here at Hollywood Park. And it is Judge Angelucci on the outside. Kenny's going toward the rail. Ferdinand and Ali Shiva coming on from the outside. Good command is in behind horses. They're less than a for long out. Judge Angelucci desperate. Ferdinand right there. Ali Shiva on the outside. Ferdinand, Judge Angelucci on the outside. Ali Shiva. Ferdinand has the lead. Ali Shiva. The two derby winners of the past two seasons battling down the stretch. And Bill Shoemaker has apparently won his first Breeders' Cup Classic for Charlie Whittingham and owner Howard Keck. Ferdinand waiting so patiently in it with Shoemaker at his best, saving his horse, and he needed all of Ferdinand to beat Ali Sheba. Let's go back to the top of the stretch. Candy's gold on the rail. Judge Angelusi right outside him. The early pace setters hanging tough. But in the pink and blue silk, Shoemaker and Ferdinand inching closer with every stride and will come up to take the lead. But keep your eye on the extreme outside in the blue and white. Ali Shiva gaining from Ferdinand with every stride. They'll come right to the wire in one of the most thrilling finishes you'll ever see. Ferdinand and Ali Shiva there. Oh, well, we are in Hollywood, and with the photo sign up, fans waiting, and now the oh. replay does show that <laughs> Ferdinand barely, oh, here are the nostril. It's close, very close, Dick. And that is not the official photo, that's our NBC photo finish camera, so. Well, you think through the years of the great motion pictures that have been made in this part of the country about racing, <laughs> that's almost right out of the script, almost melodramatic to have the two derby winners dueling in that matter, and for it to be so close. That's the exact to pool closing in on a million dollars for those that are now rooting for the two derby winners to pay off and of course that is the one thing we do know the exacta will involve those two think of all that hangs in the balance for this photo ali sheba if he gets there first will probably be the champion three-year-old will probably be a horse of the year ferdinand if he got there first he could be horse of the year all that riding on just an inch or less here it is again from our NBC point of view, looking right down the line. Ferdinand on the inside, and Ali Sheba number nine on the outside, and the hand listen in the background. You don't hear racing fans applaud like this often. They're applauding Shoemaker and Ferdinand. They're applauding Ali Sheba and Chris McCarran as they come back to the winner's circle, and they await the official notice on the board. Listen to the hand at Hollywood Park. I've never seen anything like this, Dick. Normally at this stage, everyone's looking at their ticket, and if they have...
and won. They're not applauding anyone, but <laughs> that man, one of the greats in sport, and he's, he saved one of his most dramatic rides for perhaps his last chance at the richest race in the world. He's won over 8,700 races in his career, around 1,000 stakes. It is official. Ferdinand the winner and Bill Shoemaker and Charlie Whittingham. And Shoemaker didn't know himself. He only could hope. Charlie Whittingham, the bald eagle, is the winning trainer. He's with Jay. All right, and the bald eagle with, is with me. And uh, I said just before this race, I was rooting for you. And so was this crowd. You and Shoemaker get the victory. And uh, they stood and applauded here, Charlie. Thank you very much. Thank them all very much. And I know uh, Mrs. Keck uh, is very pleased today. Charlie, you've come a long way from Tijuana. Sure have, boy. <laughs> Old time Mesa. <laughs> and I want to say this. Uh, this horse showed tremendous, tremendous staying power. I think this is the best horse in the country, and I think next year he'll be better yet. And you're going to run him next year. I hope so. I hope Mrs. Keck decides to Mrs. run him. Keck. Keck. Mrs. Keck. Well, I hope so. That's hope good. So. At least we're going to get the horse. That's what the Breeders' Cup is all about. The most emotional wager I've ever seen at a racetrack. For your horse, for this man, four Breeders' Cups, the last race on the last day, and Bill Shoemaker, two legends, finally in our winners. Season. And Charlie, here's the race. You and the shoe, 130 years of racing experience batted together, and this was just a remarkable run. Well, it really was a big big day for Shu and myself and everybody else, and I'm, I'm very happy for it. Mrs. Well, Keck, you there you me. are, of course. So what were you thinking at this time? My heart was beating so hard. I was just hoping I'd make it down the winter circle. Neither one of you thought you won the race, Charlie. You weren't even sure. I thought it was very close. Say, you know, Judge Annalucci, there, my other entry, stayed in there tough, didn't he? He did stay in there very tough. And uh, it was a photo, and it was very close. What were you thinking right at this point? I was hoping to beat Van Berg this time. <laughs> well, you're good friends, you two. Yes, you are. I thought we were going to win there, but that other horse was creeping up. But, boy, it was close. All right, congratulations. Prof Scott has Bill Shoemaker. No, I'm afraid Bill's had to go and line up on the horse because his moment of glory has going to be lived again. He'll get up on the horse, and what a cheer will happen. Needless to say, and Amigo Don is one of the greatest races of all time with Noor and Citation affirmed against Alidar, Seabiscuit and War Admiral. Today, Ferdinand beats Ali Sheba. Here in the winner's circle with Alan Murray, the chairman of Mobile Corporation. I know someday you'd like to be presenting this trophy to yourself, maybe. Absolutely. But you someday we will. Well, <laughs> it's a $3 million race. Mobile, of course, proud to sponsor it, and you're proud to give this trophy to Mrs. Kelly. I certainly am. Congratulations. It was Thank a truly you. magnificent Thank race. Thank you truly. very much. Thank you. It really was. Pass that on now. It's a little heavy, though. I'll hold it yeah, we, hold better, it. we better hold it for you. Thank wonderful you day for the king. It was a wonderful day. All right. Thank you so much, Dick. Yeah, we've overused the word elegance in this sport, but boy, does it allow itself in that race. Ferdinand, $4, $3, 260 Ali Sheba, 360 and 360 A big race run by Judge Angelucci out front with the speed, setting the pace. He returns 580 The day belongs to Shoemaker, the 56-year-old star. Will it be his last ride? And we'll put Gary Stevens in his irons when we return. For a bread sport, Ferdinand holds off Ali Sheba. Ferdinand, I think, will be voted Horse of the Year. Ali Sheba might get the title. I think should get the title as champion three-year-old. You see the order of finish, and Skywalker, the really the only disappointment in the race, as he faded to 12th and now heads back to stud. All right, Gary Stevens has been with us throughout. He's going to take the final quarter mile, the duel between Ferdinand. Put yourself in Shoemaker's boots. Well, this is uh, Shoe at his best right here. You see him move up on the outside. He's got plenty of horse. He doesn't go for his whip yet. He's still sitting chilly, and uh, it's taken him a year to figure this horse out, but God, did he figure him out. Uh, he doesn't go for his whip until inside the last 50 yards. Right there, you see him nudge him a little bit. Uh, Al Sheba lingers up on the outside of him, makes a run. Now, Shoe goes to the bottom of the barrel and uh, it's all over with. 
You said at the start, Gary Stevens, you were rooting for one man today, Shoemaker. Do you think this is his last ride? Uh, that's hard to say. I don't know. Shoe goes on and on and on. He never quits. And there is the man of the hour, Bill Shoemaker. Congratulations to him. Let's go down to Jay and Harvey. Well, it was a great day for the Kentucky branch here. And uh, Harvey, how I'm about you? happy to be broke. As long as Charlie Whittingham and Shoe got one, the last two races we saw today, probably the greatest two horse races you'll ever see back-to-back -back anywhere in the world. I'm happy to be broke. Ah, splendid afternoon it was, Dick.